There's one thing you need that's a must if you want God to come into your life. And that is a humble heart. Matthew 5, 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So when he says poor in spirit, he's talking about people that don't think highly of themselves. Because he can't work with you if you think highly of yourself, if you think you got it together. He needs he needs you to break down. Also, in Matthew 18, 3, he says, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> Again, he's telling you, you have to break yourself down to like a, like a child. You have to be willing to relearn everything that you think you know because the world teaches you different than the Bible does. And if you fall along with the worldly ways, you'll be under the illusion that you're having success, that you're happy, but it's an illusion and you're always going to be searching for something. You'll never feel that, that God-shaped hole in you because there's only one thing that can feel a God-shaped hole in that's God. So when he says become like a children, you have to be ready to relearn everything. When he says be poor in spirit, you have to be humble. And he also says those that mourn will be comforted. When he says mourn, it doesn't just mean you go around crying every day. It means you feel bad for for things that you've done. And, and a lot of us try to just, you know, find excuses or try to, you know, manipulate ourselves into thinking that the things that we do aren't really bad. And, you know, we just say, oh, it's small, you know, it doesn't really hurt anybody. But when it comes to a holy, perfect God, the things that we think are small are huge. And we don't see the ripple effect that it has down the line to other people. And it can even cause death. We don't understand that just hatred in your heart, the ripple effect of it and the way it, and the way we give off this energy, I hate using words like that because it's kind of new age and I'm trying to stay away from that. But when we give off this vibe to people, sometimes we can cause them to do something and they cause someone else to do something. And it can, it can ultimately lead to death. So we have to become like children and we have to mourn and understand that only a humble heart is something that God's going to accept. We also have examples with Moses. Moses used to stutter. He had a problem, you know, a lot like me, and, and he wasn't, you know, ready. When God called him, he didn't think God would be able to use him, but he did. Same thing with Saul, who became king. He was a real big guy in stature, but he thought very low of himself, and that's who God likes to use. He likes to use people that are, he's capable of using, you know. If you have a, a, a head full of world knowledge, you know, he's not going to work with you. He's going to let you go ahead and do things your way. And after a while, you're going to realize, man, I'm looking for something. Some people, it takes them being on their deathbed, and I've been there, you know. I've almost died multiple times, and and I understand that when your life is in the balance like that, there's only one thing in your mind, and that's where am I going? And so that's something that we all really need to think about because you, we never know when we, when we might go. So just keep that in mind. And just remember, a humble heart is the only way Jesus is going to come into your heart. So you have to let go of what you think you know. <laughs>